what's up beautiful people in this video i'm gonna give you five maybe six but five things that you should know if you're thinking about growing your own chickens let's go what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Ba -ba 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 What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. And like I said, if you are thinking about having your own chickens, growing your own chickens, raising your own chickens, whatever you want to say, but having chickens in your own possession, these are some things that you need to know. Now, if you are new to the channel, if you could, if you would, please click that subscribe button as we are on our way to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. And with the help of you, we could do just that. So I would greatly appreciate it. And then you can share it with a friend and tell another friend to another friend that's also growing chickens that they need to do the same, okay? because not only do you see and can you see me build this here um, hoop scenario but you'll see me um, with the scenario of making sure everything is fortified and secure um, but then even doing hoop house well not hoop house but even doing the um nesting boxes and things like that and everything that you may see in here i built myself so um yeah we're 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 uh-oh the ladies are getting excited obviously it's a lot going on but nonetheless you know i'm gonna stay on the outside I don't know what's going on inside, but the first thing that you should know about chicks are creatures that do love to be together. So you'll see them from time to time traveling in packs, being together. When they're eating, they all like to try to eat around the same time and eat the same things and things like that. And it's just amazing just to watch how they are as the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. They do love to flock together. Very rarely will you see one just straggling off by itself. Now, if that is taking place, you do want to be mindful of what's going on because that may be giving you indication of something um, extra, okay? But just know that they will flock together so saying that to say even for those that do not know when you do have chicks you do want to grow them and raise them together why because they flock together and when you do incorporate new chicks there will be problems okay the old ones or the more mature ones will be pecking against the other ones or if you incorporate new ones of the same age they'll be going at it with each other because they do like to stay together and do travel together and are animals that flock together okay the saying is also true as it pertains to chickens themselves so keep those things in mind if you're thinking about getting some and then like oh i'm gonna start with one or maybe two and then you know i'm gonna you know get five more later like no 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 they should recommend that you purchase all of them around the same time or at least get three the lady when i went to go purchase mine said at least get three and i was like okay like my number six so i'll just get them all at the same time and we'll see what happens but at the end of the day you want to keep all of your chicks together and purchase them all together or have two separate houses for them or there are different things that you can do on other youtube channels i'm sure they show you all how you can incorporate new chicks to the existing chicks that you already have going and growing in your uh gardening area or whatever whatnot so that's number one oh number two great people now this one may be shocking because people do say contradictory in other channels and other things like that but they are actually intelligent creatures in the sense that they have a great memory i say that because they'll see me walking up with some leafy greens or something like that and they are like at the door like ah, 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 ready to devour as i throw out the leafy greens as i show you all on other videos they are ready because i mean they to my knowledge and recognition they have a memory that shows them well that says okay when i see him food is coming my way or when i see green that means that is for me so it's pretty cool just to watch them um and interact with me um but then also to like just sense and know like what's going on pertaining to different things that they see so that lets me know the memory is pretty sharp y'all <laughs> Which gets us to number three great people. They do love to forage around, okay? So what does that mean? That means you'll see them quite often just walking around the area in which they are, period. And they'll just pecking at the ground. Pecking, pecking, foraging. They're scraping the ground. Kick, 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 kick. Forging, forging, forging. Largely because they're looking for a different uh, buzz. They're looking for worms. They're looking for anything in the ground that they can devour, eat, and uh, enjoy themselves. And so that's what they do just periodically throughout the day. They're kicking, they're kicking, they're forging, they're forging. So now what does that mean? How have I used that information? Well, with me, I'll, you know, with the little feet that they have, the little pellets and scenarios, things like that, I'll just shake it on the ground. I'll 
I'll put it in a holder for where the food is, but I'll also too sprinkle some throughout on the ground, just allowing them to be who they are naturally and just picking through the ground, eating as they go, picking through the ground, eating as, as they go. And so, you know, it's a fun thing to do, which, you know, hey, we do have them in a shelter, which is outside of their norm. They are used to just being out and about in the land, which I've never seen just chickens freely roaming, but I feel like all animals should be. And so just giving them a sense of who they naturally are and how they naturally live life is what I'm going for. Just watching what they do and then, you know, providing things in the method and the ways in which they are accustomed to just living life. And so if I saw them just always looking around and doing things up high, I would have things up high, right? But just some things that you should know and would know. Um, the ground in which that the chickens will be on is not gonna look the same. I'm gonna say within a week, it's gonna look drastically different. So just, you know, for those that are, you know, cutesy farmers and cutesy girls and things like that, know that things will change or you can prepare for them to be on a ground in which you can control the environment. So that may mean like putting them in an area where you change out the bedding on a regular basis and things like that. If you want a nice net, you know, kept area but they're gonna kick they're gonna kick they're gonna push they're even doing it right now as i'm as i'm looking but you know like kids they won't do it when you're looking let me see if i can get them so to even show you all what i'm talking about of course they stopped when i came in here but i just do it like this sprinkle it on the ground allowing them to do what they do which is peck around find what they need and then to see accordingly but you know hey coming in here they're not gonna and now you can see them going about it that way now they was just right there but now with it on the ground they're more likely to pay more attention to it and now they're going ahead and eating as they normally would which gets me to my third point in that chickens are very curious now what does that mean curious in the sense that they are acute and aware of the different things that are going on and they will peck right they are some pecking creatures just like what these ladies are doing they are curious as to who i am what i have going on and they just peck which is why you know i wear certain shoes as you see these waterproof boots that i'm wearing right now when i'm in here largely because they peck and initially it caught me off guard I'm not gonna lie to you it scared rain um but it caught me off guard and i was like oh i was always jumping and things like that but now you know you just plan accordingly and do what you need to do i'm always mindful of them because i don't want to go too high i am wearing shorts today but nonetheless it all with it all they are gonna peck they are curious creatures they're gonna kick around dust around and things like that but at the end of the day they're just trying to find out what's going on under the ground or out of sight that they can't see so they do the little pecking things like that just to you know live life okay and so one of like two of them are very aggressive like so it's weird too aggressive the two they're just still by me hey can you do something else please there's nothing here there's 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 nothing here okay thank you thank you i appreciate you which oddly enough gets us to number four which is the idea that they love being up off the ground now i say it's odd because i did talk about she's at it but anyway the light being off the floor which the idea in which they do even sleep off the ground is called a method of roosting and so they like to just to be up and you know perched areas where they can just sit off the ground just nestle down which it looks oh so cool um but they do that as they sleep they do that throughout the day when they're just regularly living and not being bothered by me and i will say i feel like i am a nuisance every time i do come around because they stop doing what they are naturally doing which is just chilling and uh paying attention to what i am doing which is just filming and trying to help different things around the area um but even when they sleep they do sleep off the ground in in this current area like in the shade they do it over there i don't want them to but they do it over there they sleep like i said it's nice and covered over there it's off the ground elevated off the ground so it is to their liking overall which is why i believe that they do sleep there most often than not and then i have like this tree over here which is a cut down tree um that my neighbor had and i was like oh man can i use it he was like sure i was just gonna throw it away but anyway i have it for them to be able to perch on there as well giving them another solution or i have this here air that i built which i did a video on um y'all just saw that pop up so this video they do ar over here quite often and i will say they were I had it over there before and they weren't on it, but I put it over here and then they are on it. And I largely believe it's so because of this light that is here as opposed to the darkness that was over there. So, hey, 
keep that in mind. They are creatures that cannot see in the dark, okay? And so what does that mean? That means when I come out in the morning, I'm usually out here early in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning, just doing different things around the garden and things like that. And they are just all cooped up together, bundled up. But then I have my little headlight on and they follow the light. They jump down, fly down and meet me to wherever the light is. And um, that is lets me know reminds me that they can't see in them just making sure they're not opening the door but it lets me know that they can't see in the dark so they are more apt to be in lit areas as opposed to the dark areas um because they they, they can't they can't see so that's just a cool little fact that i threw in there oh all right so number five is the fact that they love leafy greens ladies and gentlemen i give them my kale scraps my collard scraps and that's it right now but and even oh i did give them cabbage as well they love those things now i will say you don't want to overload them on those treats and delectables and delights like that you do want to make sure they have the feed in which you purchase for them that's going to have all the nutrients and things like that that they need to be able to grow and to produce the egg laying if you're growing egg layers or the meat ones you know all the different food that they specifically need make sure they eat more of that than they do of the leafy greens and things like that but they love it they devour it all the way to the stem itself and so that is cool let me show you this so that it, that's what it looks like when they are roosting okay they just crouch down look at her she looks oh so beautiful and that's what it looks like she's down uh you can't see her legs because they're all up under her but that's where they sit that's what they do that's what she does all the time i'm in here she's just around me Pecking, 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 pecking. And so, last but not least, I don't know if it's number five, but this is gonna be number five. At the end of the day, chickens are interesting creatures. They are fun to watch, they peck, they make little noises, not too many noises I've seen thus far or heard thus far. They do require, and I'm gonna just say this as well, rolling in here, they do require the maintenance of cleanup. They poop a lot. Okay, I say the worst for last. They poop a lot. When I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Every time I look around, there's poop. They Wherever they sleep, they poop where now i'm gonna just say that again wherever they sleep they poop and they poop a lot when they sleep and so just keep those things in mind wherever you have them um definitely would not keep them in the house because they poop and they poop anywhere and i do mean anywhere and everywhere but largely where they sleep and so keep all those things in mind if chickens are what you want to do it is something that you should tend to right now tend to them like every day really and sometimes it's every other day that's very rare but really it's an everyday treatment that you do have to come out and just check on them see what's going on see how they're growing see what they're doing see what the feed and food and how that's going the watering making sure everything is nice and clean and sterile is a part of the maintenance that you have to do um, I'm using just a regular watering scenario right now I'm gonna do some automatic watering because I have some different trips coming up and I want to make sure the ladies do get what they need even when I'm not around and so know that maintenance is a thing that you have to do on a regular okay and so all those things in mind with that all that being said, I have a family of, we're a family of four, have two kids and a lovely wife, and it's okay. It's not overwhelming. I spend about an hour a day with the chicks, just making sure they have what they need, cleaning out everything, checking things, making sure they're good, making sure the area is good and fortified and nothing is trying to come in and make sure everything is secure. Like those things you will and should do on a regular. But again, an hour a day is what I do with them right now. They're not laying eggs at the moment, but when they do, that'll be something that I'll be able to retrieve and have as a reward for the time spent and overall I mean the food is not expensive water I get out of the uh, faucet so that's not an expense as well so they're fairly inexpensive once you build the shelter for them and have everything the necessities for them they'll be good to go from there but with it all in it all it is something that i do recommend those that are thinking about and curious about having chicks you can do it know that if i can do it you could do it these are like my first pets of my own and when i say pets i mean like animals right but we're doing fine kids doing fine my my son loves them my daughter she's like more apprehensive because she doesn't like the pecking that they do but at the end of the day with it all i believe you can do it too and so with that being said and with that being shown great people again you can do it you can do it you can do it i'm actually about to go take their feeder and get them some more food which are all like at the door but i spread it out in there as well so you know it's okay it's okay all is well all is good but again you could do it too and i'm now nine weeks in with having these chicks um well actually no um six weeks six weeks in and having these chicks they're approximately nine weeks old so with that being said you know i'm here okay 
But when they start laying eggs, I'll definitely give you all an update on what it's like, what you can expect, and different things that have and may have changed in between time. But more than anything, know that you can do it, and I believe you should give it a grow, okay? All right, great people. If you need to know anything, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I can share the insight that I do have and have had with them thus far, and maybe that'll help and give you comfort to know that you can do it too. That's my point. You could do it too. You should do it, especially with these prices being what they are right now. We need to find alternative ways to provide food and things like that for our family. So, in it all with it all, I love you. I appreciate you. So, next time, peace. Love you. <laughs>